Yo, everybody, and welcome to, well, let's play Zone of Four Golden. <laughs> so this came out on Steam, uh, today, almost out of nowhere. People, people got wind of it before it actually happened, but still, it appeared. Figured, you know what? Let's let's jump into this. I know I was planning on doing. Uh, one again and doing them in order, but you know what? Let's start. Let's go with four, considering it's just out again. And why not? It's been a while since I've played four. So, not. Nope. <laughs> So it is excited to play it again. Admittedly, I'm not sure. I was still unsure whether or not I should do the golden version or the original version. So I do have some issues with golden, but eh, golden is new. We'll do, well, newly released. I'll do original at some point. Something very visually pleasing about this intro. Yeah. So yeah, I hope you guys are looking forward to a lot of Persona 4. Because <laughs> there's going to be a lot of it. Let's start. Yes. Uh, allows you to see what... Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Um, please select the difficulty. For some reason I thought it would be like on a tilt. Uh, uh, also very hard. <laughs> Do you hate yourself? Uh, I'm only going to do hard. As much as very hard is fun. Or should I just do very hard? Oh, I hate. I hate that you said that. Now I'm thinking maybe I should just do very hard. Let me quickly look up. Oh, uh, very professional start of the stream. So for golden. Cool. T. Just want to know the differences between uh, between them. Uh, no, that doesn't help. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, I'm going to do with no at uh, normal, um, hard, just so that I can get through the game at a decent pace. I'll save very hard for another time. <laughs> the thing is, um, I didn't plan on doing this, so it's kind of why I want to try and do it without too much issue. And I feel like very hard will cause I would have to spend more time potentially grinding or making wiser choices and I'm not one for making wise choices Not sure about Persona 2, but Welcome to the Velvet Room. It's funny how we instantly go into the Velvet Room. Wait, do you do it in Persona 5? No, it's a flash. I can't remember. 
Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? Eagle looks like he really needs some sleep. <laughs> okay, um... I feel like... Oh, this is really dumb. <laughs> so, the... Canon name per se, is I more so than like Persona 4, uh, Persona 3 and Persona 5, I will go with use, uh, uh, what's the, what's his name, you, uh, no, Kami, uh, I I find it hard not to call him this. I it's kind of you know the amount of other games that have called him this means has cemented it as that his is his name. So what I was trying to say and struggled so hard to do so. Proceed. Yes. Hmm, I see. Now, let's take a look into your future, Chef. He didn't seem very interested in the name. Hmm, I see. Okay, let's look into your future. Do you believe in fortune telling? His model Each doesn't blink. Reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? The upright tower? Hmm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. The card indicating the future beyond that is... <laughs> the moon in the upright position. What game is it? I know Undertale does it that you have different character responses depending on your name. Or the name of the fallen child, I should say. Uh, I'll say there's another game that I, could, I can't quite think of right now that does something similar. That they comment on the name you pick. This card represents hesitation and mystery. Very interesting indeed. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. Oh yeah, the quick introduction with the tower cards is kind of interesting. I also just noticed they have a GPS TV in here. <laughs> My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Ah, I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. We shall attend to the details another time. Until then, farewell. <laughs> I'm tired of diets. Enough with going to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. <laughs> 
slim down this summer with the refreshing taste of calorie magic. And we're back. Now on to some juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. I'm sure everyone is <laughs> At first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. So wanted someone just go, YES! Get out of here, idiot! <laughs> Someone's super excited to see us go. <laughs> Just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect. Hmm. Find it interesting he already has his school uniform. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, over here. Uh, also, uh, cause just to let you know, um, in each game the assistant is a different attendant. Uh, well, assistant after three, you had Elizabeth in the third game, you had Margaret in the fourth game, this one, and then you had the twins in the fifth one. Um, they're all family related. Oh, also you have Theodore, which is in Portable. Uh, so yeah, they're those five, four, five, are all related brothers and sisters, which is kind of a neat, neat little thing. What's up? Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. <laughs> Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. I just realized we can't call him Coffee Dad yet. For some reason, I want to call him Coffee Dad because I know he likes... Uh... Yeah, it's not really complicated. Um... All I know is Elizabeth is the best one. <laughs> Let's see. I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. It's been a long time. I'll say. You've really grown. I still remember when you were in diapers. Theodore is canon, but it's the type of thing that he hasn't appeared in a main title yet. Um. Oh yeah, but he drinks a lot of coffee. <laughs> Cop dad. <laughs> there we go, that works. This here's my daughter. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what are you so shy for? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> well then, let's get going. My car's over there. Hey. You drop this. Uh, thank you. 
whatever. All I did was pick it up. Uh, this is a note you made for yourself with Dojima's address. What's wrong? <laughs> uh, slightly less, um, what was it, intrusive than the uh, intro for Royale. It's like, ooh, new, um, what's the word? New girl right from the bat. Uh, if you don't know, she wasn't in the original game. She was introduced in Golden. And here we have Inuba. Inuba Central Shopping District Gas Station. Hi. Welcome to Mall. Hi there. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? Uh-huh. It's in the back, to your left. You know which way's left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. I know. Jeez. Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. You probably shouldn't have a cigarette out whilst gassing up. A city, huh? Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. Good time as any for a smoke. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Or both. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Fun fact, they never let you do one here. <laughs> Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Oh, I should get back to work. Uh, I'm not using a mouse. I'm using a controller. Which, now that you mention it, doesn't have rumble. Hmm. Or maybe it does? Are you okay? I don't know, I can't remember. Did you get car sick? You don't look too good. Could it be exhaustion from the long trip? Uh... Now that you mentioned it, you feel a little dizzy. What's wrong? Uh, you okay? Yeah, pretty much. The jobs in this are mainly nighttime jobs, I believe. Like stuff you do in your room, anyways. Um, I'm just tired. That's understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. Why not take a little walk? Get some fresh air. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Oh yeah. Wow. I forgot this they let you do this. Uh shop at this near the house, so you should get to know what all these doors are. Whoa. It is very weird going from <laughs> Gamepad. Maybe there just isn't a uh, rumble option. It is very weird the way he moves. <laughs> Give take a bit to get used to, especially coming from uh, five. Um, I just want you know. The girl is taking to herself. Okay. This is the bookstore. It's fairly empty inside. Uh, obviously, we'll save. Always save. Such so a doing this shopping district is a bit run down, but we have everything here. It used to be a lot more uh, prosperous back in the day, but we only see regulars nowadays. If only June S doesn't come to town, it's convenient, but it's a little sad. 
First of command is single manly pounding pounding on something in the back of the store, he decided not to enter. It's the Mauku Tofu Shop. No Romans tend to the store. Hey, do you know where my snack went? I had it in the fridge, but it's gone. Oh, I ate it. I ate it just now, I thought it was leftovers. What? No way, it was just leftovers. Make sure to save it for later. Sorry about that. Well, I'm going to work, see you. For to eat it. Mm. I like this shop. It's very nice. It's inconvenient and convenient at the same time. It's a delicate balance. This is what I expect country life to be like. <laughs> this product lies on the shelves. Friendly looking old lady sits behind the counter. It's a beverage vendor machine. Sold out, there's nothing for you to buy. I don't think I have any money on me. Okay, so we can only check this street. Birds! Ah, oh, these birds do not care. We'll be here quite a lot. Uh, are you okay? Uh, I'm ready. Let's hit the road. Do events. Uh, <laughs> oh, fun times. Internet just died. Oh well. You arrived at the J J Dojima residence. And that is the bleep bop saying that the internet's down. For the next year, this place will be your home. Evening. All right, let's have a toast. Woo! So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? That's rough being a kid. Yeah, but you also don't have to worry about work. Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself at home. Thanks. <laughs> Come on, there's no need to be so formal. <laughs> Look. You're making Nanako all tense. Well, anyway, let's eat. Yeah. Oh, oh. who's calling at this hour? Sorry about that. I think it was just the internet coming back along. Hello, people. Apologies for that. <sighs> Dojima speaking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see. So where is it? Uh-huh. All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. find it funny how he said that last bit in the phone call. <laughs> At the same time, though, I suppose it's not that big of a uh, thing to say. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? I already brought it in. All right. Well, I'm off. Shouldn't we do something about his food? For this or? week. Next, let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. With storm clouds moving in from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Let's eat. Find yourself alone with Nanako. You might want to strike up a conversation. Uh, what does your dad do? He investigates stuff. Like crime scenes my dad's a detective ah that makes sense and now for the local news city council secretary 
Taro Namatame, is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. His wife, Enka ballad sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. This is boring. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Uh, get ready to hear this a lot. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. Aren't you going to eat? <laughs> To save the game by using the calendar in the living room. Obviously, we save. Always save. Hi, Nanako. Uh, is that lost? You should leave her alone. Um, you open the fridge. There's some fried rice. Eat it. Sure. There's no taste at all. Strange. <laughs> Because it's an, uh, used very often, the kitchen is unorganized. If there were ingredients to the refrigerator, you might be able to make lunch. Nothing catches your eye. And I guess we'll just head to our room. This is the room you're borrowing from Dojima. Sofa, you're tired from the long trip. You should rest. You're tired from the long trip. You should rest. Okay. Catch in a bit, Deadpool. TV? You're tired from the trip. You should rest. I think we should rest. Go to sleep. Yes. <laughs> You'll be living in this town uh, for one year, starting today. You wonder if anything will be alright. School starts tomorrow. You should hurry to bed. <laughs> you look tired. You should get to, to sleep. Hmm. Well, this is unusual. This is... The area is covered in a thick fog. What you could do right now is proceed forward. <laughs> Instantly turn around to try to go... Uh, backwards. So yeah, there's not much for us to do in question mark, question mark, question mark, other than proceed forward and, you know, have Yui, Yui, <laughs> you stand in the gaps. Do you seek the truth? You heard someone's voice. Like, surely his leg is just dropped down at that point. Oh yeah, we can rotate the camera as well. Woo! If it's truth you desire, come and find me. You hear the voice from up ahead. Fancy door. You sent someone ahead. Will you continue? Yes. Well, that's very fancy. So, you are the one pursuing me. Hmm, try all you like. Can't really do anything here. Plot, the uh, plot twist. Spoilers. Hmm. Seems like you could see a little, despite the fog. I see, indeed. That is very inter interesting information. Uh. Ooh, eight. But you will not catch me so easily. If what you seek is truth. Then your search will be even harder. Bewildering fog. The surrounding areas are covered in fog. 
I'm pretty sure from now on we won't. Tax won't connect. I love the idea that you just finds this weird figure in the fog and then just starts randomly attacking it. Everyone sees what they want to, and the fog only deepens. Will we meet again? At a place other than here? Hmm, I look forward to it. You're losing consciousness. You wiped it out. <laughs> you awakened in the poker center. <laughs> oh wait, no. Wrong series. You can hear someone's Breakfast voice. Ready. Oh, it's almost time to get up. You feel like you had a nightmare. What could have been it about? It's not school today. Maybe that. Anxiety of changing schools. Uh, head to the living room for now. You should. Good morning. Ooh, sausage and eggs. And toast. Okay, let's eat. Yeah. Do you do the cooking? I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. So who made the sausages? Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. You're starting school today, right? Who made the sausages? My school's on the way, so let's go together. Okay. Uh, Nanako seems uh, somewhat restless. You decide to head to school with Nanako. Hmm. School Zone, Act 1. Um. Same Gower Floodplain. You keep going straight from here. Okay. Thank you. My school's this way. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Manico's adorable. <laughs> School zone, act two. Uh, intersection in front of the school. Well, pain student. That looked painful. You should leave him be. <laughs> Just ignored. Uh. You arrived in the main gates of Yoso Gami High School. What kind of student life awaits you here? Lots of questions, most of which very similar to the normal ones that <laughs> the ones before. Ah, talk about bad luck. The homeroom teacher here is Moraoka, isn't it? Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long-ass sermons every day for a whole year. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? A transfer student from the city? Just like you, huh, Yosuke? Huh? You look dead today. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. What's with him? Who knows? All right, shut your traps. This guy's teeth. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. First things first, just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love struck baboons. Long as I'm around, you students are going to be pure as the driven snow. Now, I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Guys are welcome to, though. That... okay. Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. Uh... Nice to meet you all. What's that look you're giving that girl back there by the window? You thought I wouldn't notice? Now listen up! 
<laughs> this town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. You'd better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. Uh, Mr. Maroka goes on and on. Excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. Thanks for the save. He's the worst, huh? Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we just have to hang in there for a year. <laughs> I'm out of here in a year. You can hear people around you talking about you. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. Your life at this new school has begun. Will you be able to fit in here? <laughs> Any morning after school. No, oh, that was easy. That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. Attention all teachers. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Hmm. Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. Welcome back. He's seriously getting on my nerves. Crap, they found us already. Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh huh, yeah, you mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Are you serious? Uh, hey, hey Yukiko-san, mind if I ask you something? <laughs> Boomer loves it. I love the names they give to this uh, Is NPCs it true around. That announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. How much longer is this gonna take? There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? <laughs> on the point nose, yeah. Very straight, like, descriptive, you know exactly who was talking. <laughs> you know, that thing about rainy nights. Well, at the very least, you know more about them than... The little bit of text gives on, like rumor loving student. Oh. No, not yet. Sorry. Aw. Uh, it's just Oops. I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamino, the announcer. Attention, all students. Mm. Oh, Come on, let's, let's take a look. I was looking for the <sighs> Are you going home by yourself? Why don't you come with us? Damn it. I was looking for the backlog. I don't know if it's in this game. Basically, the announcement saying that you can go, uh, they can leave, but to head straight home. Essentially. Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know, I sit next to you, right? Oh, right. <laughs> you do? Course. Well, nice to meet you. This is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. 
come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. I just wanted to ask some stuff, really. That's all. Uh, um, Miss Satanaka. This was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. And I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. See ya. Thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? <laughs> what the? I can't believe this. It's completely cracked. I like how she, she hit him or did whatever she did to him. Uh... Uh, what was it? Before checking to see what was wrong with the DVD. <laughs> like, it could have been completely fine and he was on about something else. <laughs> oh! My trial of the dragon! Oh, so yeah, the fast forward effect being yeah, like a v VHS tape fast forward is pretty neat. I think mine's cracked too. Critical hit to the Nads. Uh, are you all right? Oh, Yukiko-san. Are you worried about me? He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. <laughs> it looks like he's in a lot of pain. You should leave him be. <laughs> uh You're Yuki, right? Y you want to go hang out somewhere? What? Wh who are you? What's up with him? What school's he from? He's got a different uniform. Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. <laughs> no bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? Uh, so, uh, are you coming or not? They were very loud at explaining that. I, I'm not going. Fine! <laughs> what, what did he want from me? What did he want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. Huh? Really? You really had no clue? Sheesh. But then again... That was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Oh, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. We're just curious is all! Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. He recovered very quickly, I must admit. Come on, let's go! Everyone's staring. It's probably because, you know, you two stand out in your actual colored uniform. I still think they should totally have other NPCs with green jackets or whatnot, just to make it oh. <laughs> not weird. So you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. Uh, nah, it's not like I, I assaulted a uh, politician or anything or got a criminal record or anything like that. <laughs> Who would do anything as crazy as that? There really is nothing here, huh? That's what makes it nice. But there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. Though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's just an old inn. 
No way! It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure! It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is gonna take over someday. Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. I don't think that's entirely true. <laughs> Main character Ty. I mean, it's it's not so. I, I get the idea that you want your characters, the main car cast, to stand out, but it also makes you question, like, how do they get away with it? Like, I don't see Yukiko as the rebellious type that wears this red just to stand out. Yet she is the only person re wearing red. Seems a bit strange. So, tell me, you think Yukiko's cute, huh? Uh, I think so, yeah. Oh, I knew it! Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? No, really? Come on, stop it. You shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Jeez, Chie. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. But this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city. And you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? <laughs> So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street... Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. I want to say in Golden as well, they did add a lot more di uh, voice dialogue to some of these. I can't remember how much of it was voiced in the original. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Oh, hey. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, we're just passing by. Huh, I should have figured that had happened. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? Yeah. I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. <coughs> Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? <laughs> You want to be sent back to the central office? <laughs> uh. I'm sorry. <clears throat> <sighs> go wash your face. We're gonna go around and gather information. Here's a very Was odd run animation. Was about? <laughs> Just a very floaty hands. What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Hey, Yukiko. Why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. All right, then. We're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor, let's do our best. <laughs> they just leave us there. I'm just like, how many? I don't know which way is home. <laughs> is that to head away from the crime scene? <laughs> just get completely lost. <laughs> so yeah, we now have control. Uh, honestly, there's not much we could do. We go back to school, shopping district, Druness store. We can go and check it out, but yeah, I don't think we can actually do anything. Uh, basically, right now, the only thing we can do is head home. There might be some dialogue or something we could do, talk to people. Um, actually, let me check out the central shopping district quickly. Because 
there's a save point. Because you always save. Uh, oh, police officers, what's going on? Huh? A crime, really? Yay, an emergency? Now I don't have to go back to work. I, I can't really comment, because, you know, I kind of have similar feelings with the situation we're all in. Uh, all day, getting such a great sleep. So we can check out the northern, the upper part of the shopping district. And go and check out the shrine. <gasps> we can. I don't think there's anything for us here, but this looks like the shrine, uh, shrine's main building. You have no business here. It's a small shrine. There's a fortune box sitting there, but nothing inside. Because of the shade, the air here is moist. Simple enough. Yeah, not much really going on. Yeah, dodgy my best. The scooter parked in front of the house. House with in farm clothes. And it was terrible. I was doing some work on the farm and the police came around to question me. It's such a dangerous world these days, I can't even relax when I go out shopping. I was going to buy some tiny salt tomato for dinner tonight too. Now what? It's no problem. Hey, you can have some that I harvested from my garden. It's no big thing. Anyone could start a home garden as long as I have some unused land to work with. Take the spot. Uh, you take that spot next to the Dojima place, for example. Yeah, there's more than enough land to make a fine garden. Uh, if you start a home garden too, does that mean I can look forward to them sharing the vegetables they grow? Chuckle. It's uh, an empty patch of dirt in the open space next to the house. It'll become evening when you return home. So yeah, another feature they added in Golden is plants. You can grow stuff. So weird being able to see the TV so clearly. I wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. School zone, it's been shown on TV. Could this be the incident you heard about? The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano, hmm. a 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... <sighs> the, the, the Inaba Police Department! That's where Dad works! <sighs> They'll be alright. I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. Seems the local TV station announcer was found dead near the uh, Yasogami High School campus. The announcer, Mayumi Yamano, her affair with the local uh, councilman's secretary had been on the news just the other day. They found her on the roof? That's scary. <gasps> oh, it's Juness. At Juness. Every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. <laughs> Looking at us expectantly. Uh, your Juness. You memorized it already? <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. Nanako sings the song to herself over and over again. 
It seems that she's forgotten all about the scary story. <laughs> There's dad coming home. Looking towards the TV with a worried expression. You should leave her alone. Yeah, let's not comfort her. Nothing catches the eye. I don't think there's much we can really do right now. I don't think we can... Well, obviously we can leave. But we can save, so let's save. And head upstairs. Someone... <laughs> Rolling student. Man, this guy doesn't do well with his bike. Maybe you should help him. <laughs> you saved me. Thanks. Oh yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. And they just don't mention the name. You know Kami. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Is your bike okay? My bike? What about me? <laughs> this case seems to be all right. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. I think it was some kind of warning. There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. I don't know. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. Yep. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Yep. Oh crap, we're late. You want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. The way you've been riding lately, maybe not. Okay, so we've made it to school unharmed, it seems. Quite you idiots. You guys are in high school, aren't you? Can you show up uh, during class? Don't you have any common sense? First of all, my job is to waste my job is to waste... Wait, what? First of all, my job is to waste my precious time teaching your assholes philosophy. And since I'm so nice, I'm straightening up your rotten attitudes while I'm at it. Aren't you honored? And I'll be going especially hard on any of you morons that are curious about the murder. Got it? Now, get to your book. Get your books out. Listen to the lecture intently. The knowledge has increased. I mean... Simple knowledge up stat. I'm okay with it. So, are you getting used to this place? Yeah. Yeah, thankfully there's no cat in my desk. Yeah. Wow, that was fast. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. The air is clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? It's grilled steak, man. Like that's anything special, huh? I know a place where you can get it cheap. Want to come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. What about me, huh? No apologies? My trial of the dragon? <sighs> you always come around when I'm talking about food. How bad at Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the end today anyway. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. Oh well, we should get going too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? I mean, you did break her DVD. Juneth's food court. This is the cheap place you were talking about? Ugh, they don't have grilled steak here. Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I love the question mark animation or bubble that pops up. Just the way it's like, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. This location just opened up and my dad was assigned to manage it. 
So our entire family came out here. Here, this is to welcome you to town. Sadonaka, yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. Cheers. And then we just chat. The conversation became animated over small talk. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing, and... Ooh, uh... <laughs> you can't blame it all on Juness, can you? <sighs> hey, it's Saki-senpai. Sorry, be right back. Uh, who's that? That's Saki Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. I think she's working here part-time, though. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Ugh, madam, you wound me. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ugh. Why'd I leave school early yesterday? Uh -huh. Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. Got it. What kind of answers are these? <laughs> Where's the okay option? Nah, he's a great guy. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Come on, senpai. There's no need to worry about something like that. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Laters. Oh, uh, senpai? <laughs> Saki Senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? <laughs> I get it. So that's how it is. The daughter of a local family run liquor store, and the scion of the invading chain. Oh, the flame of forbidden love. <laughs> Dude, it's not like that. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? You're supposed to look into a TV that's switched off, alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. And they say that person's your soulmate. Huh. What? For a second, I thought you were actually going to say something useful. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Try it out? Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Wow, I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? <laughs> Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> Not giggle, though. Jeez, you shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? All I'm saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. You hear the rumor about the Midnight Channel, uh, where one could see one soulmate on a rainy night. Maybe you should try it out tonight. 
I mean, got nothing else to do.